This episode of This Printed Thing is sponsored by PCBWay. Do you have an idea that requires electronic parts? Let PCBWay help you design and prototype your PCBs. They also have other useful services available, like CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and 3D printing, just to name a few. Prototype the easy way with PCBWay. Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of This Printed Thing. My name's Mike, and this is Pepper. For whatever reason, she decided she wanted to be on this video, and when a dog tells you something, you listen. Actually, she just didn't want to get off the couch. Anyway, with my 3D print farm, I make a lot of toys. I sell some on Etsy, sometimes I just make toys for my kids, but I make a lot of toys. And the other day, my youngest son wanted to make a robot. And so I 3D printed parts for him to make a robot. And I got to thinking, I used to love robots when I was a kid. I mean, heck, I still do. But I thought it'd be cool to show you some robot toys that you could 3D print for free. So let's get to it. We'll start with Belial. I hope I'm saying that right. Designed by Kit Crafters. This is a fun robot, more than anything because it's fun to put together, as many things are. It can be printed frameless in standalone pieces or as kit cards. I chose to print individual pieces. It seems that the designer intended for there to be no need for gluing pieces together, which is really nice, and they cleverly used ball and socket snap joints for almost all of the 12 points of articulation. However, some of those joints took a lot of force to snap together, particularly the hips and the shoulders. Also, while most pieces snap together, the joints with the forearms just kind of slide into place, which makes it easy for them to slide out, so I used a bit of 3D glue for PLA to hold them in. Once assembled, he looks really cool, and the joints are nice and stiff for posing. Another thing that's really cool about Belial is that if you go to Kit Crafter's page on Maker World, along with their other creations, you'll find other robot designs that look like they belong in the same universe as Belial. Got a young nephew with a birthday coming up? Give him a set of toy robots. Just make sure he's old enough to know not to put things in his mouth. All the little pieces could be a choking hazard. Next up is The Worker, designed by 3DP RNS. This robot actually requires no assembly. It's what we call print in place, or in other words, it prints already assembled. Of course, you do have to crack the joints somewhat to get them moving. My first attempt at printing this robot was unsuccessful. I mean, it printed fine, but I couldn't get the joints to move without breaking the toy. I used my own printing profile in Bamboo Studio that I created myself. I decided to reprint using the profile that was posted on Maker World, and that one is the one that you see here. So just know that if you print this one, your mileage may vary. Another thing to note is that after some time playing with the worker, his joints started getting loose, which can make it difficult to articulate the robot into some poses and have it stay that way. Like with our last robot that we showed, this designer's page is full of other robots that look like they belong with this one. It also has accessories for the worker, from motorcycles to carrying cases, so lots of fun things to keep your 3D printer busy.
This last robot is Bob the Little Bot, designed by Buttleabill. Gosh, I hope I'm saying that right. With only six parts to assemble, this is the simplest robot that we've shown. But I don't think that makes it any less cool. It does seem to be designed more for younger children with its cutesy design and large parts. But like with our other robots that we've shown, this one was designed around a set of other similar toys, and their parts seem to be interchangeable according to Bob's page on Maker World. So there you go. If you like making toys with your 3D printer, there's three robot toys for you. I'll leave links to each one in the comments. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And if you find these videos in any way, shape, or form entertaining or useful, then please consider subscribing. And also please give this video a like. And until next time, go fire up those 3D printers and make something awesome.